Okay, this is going to be my relatively brief review of the JVC Averio R HD memory camcorder, one unit of which I purchased this morning from local retailer London Drugs in Lethbridge, Alberta, where I will be returning it for a full refund on the morrow. <laughs> Um, I field tested this camera this afternoon and found it to be shortcoming for my needs in several ways. If you'd like to look at the field test that I put it through, you can check out a video that will be uploading to my, video, to my uh, YouTube channel secondary to this review, most likely that's called Mule Deer and Golden Eyes. It is currently processing through iMovie on my MacBook Pro, and that processing is scheduled currently to take four hours and 22 more minutes. It's, it was originally over five hours. Normal processing for a video of one hour length through iMovie in my experience with data from other cameras has never even taken a single hour. <laughs> Nonetheless, four and a half to five. So we got a problem right there, Houston. There's something wrong with the formatting of the JVC video. If iMovie on a MacBook Pro can't even handle it in a reasonable amount of time especially if you're using it for vlogging which i am and uh if you're if you're traveling and on the move and don't have time to leave your stuff process this is not even uploading to youtube i, I don't know what's going to happen when i try that this is just processing just to get the video prepared in an mp4 format for loading to youtube so this is going to be a long process. It's ridiculous. Anyway, the camera itself. <laughs> Why did I look at this camera? I was looking for the Sony. And I was looking for the Sony, uh, a little Sony vlogger, um, as a replacement to my GoPro. Uh, I currently use a GoPro, and I have for years, and I love the GoPro. However, GoPro audio has always sucked, and I got over that by using an adapter that GoPro produced so that you can plug in an external mic. Um, so for about a year and a half, I enjoyed an external mic before my adapter kind of blew. You know, something went wonky with it. It wasn't working anymore, right? You know, that's, the sound was mucked up. I tried replacing the microphone right away wasn't the microphone, probably the adapter. So I went to GoPro, said, sell me a new adapter. And they said, we we don't have any, we're out of stock. All their dealers were out of stock. Nobody has them and they haven't had them for almost a year now, maybe even more, but that's when I started looking for them. So my audio has been crappy. People say negative things on my channel about it. You know, I want to, fix that and so I was looking for the Sony because I'd seen some travel vloggers that use the Sony and to good effect but my local um, salesperson at the London Drugs said even though we got the Sony and it's more than a hundred dollars cheaper than this JVC um, you should try this JVC because it's probably gonna be better for your purposes um, because this is a quad proof JVC means it's rough you can tell because there's kind of a rubberized outside um so <laughs> you know i was interested in the temperature range for one thing because i deal with cold environment sometimes down to negative 40 but that this range is down to negative 10 for you know regular long life battery <laughs> um that was a good sign and then it was waterproof like to five meters potentially not in certain conditions like waterfalls or rapids but you know general normal water pressures 
could absorb shock, 1.5 meter drops onto hard surfaces without breaking. You know, all good stuff, right? So I was thinking, all right, I'll check this camera out. Should have looked at the picture to begin with. Um, didn't, because the salesperson just opened it up right away. The seal was already broken, which means probably somebody had bought it and returned it before me. The salesperson was quick to open it for me to show me the actual camera, right? Should have been a sign. And the thing was on sale, like $50 off its normal price. And because the seal's broken, probably the last unit. And yeah, really pushing this, really pushing this. And if I'd looked at the picture, I'd have seen, oh yeah, the, the, it's got the little door, the little LCD door but doesn't have any kind of mechanism on the top like Sony Handycams often do so that you don't have to use the LCD door. You can have the camera streamlined and, and filming without the LCD door eating up battery or being open and having this awkward L shape camera. It's no good when, it's, when you're using it as an action cam in a vlog, right? To have the L shaped door. So that's a problem in itself. Let's look at some of the other issues. Um, user guide, I read the, actually read the user guide and it just tells you use this very simple mode. There's like five different languages. So the actual user guide's only like four pages long or something. And it just tells you to use this mode uh, that is not manual, it's just automatic and that's the easy way to go. It doesn't give you any um, instructions for how to go through uh, the manual to, I mean, the, the manual use of the, uh, of the, uh, unit, um, rather than the, the easy automatic use it doesn't give you instructions for going through the manual use and, and, uh, what you can do with that. The, the, the user guide's basically junk. So basically, it's just basically them covering their bases, telling you, warning, don't use it in this way, warning, don't use it in that way, or it might malfunction, it's not our fault, right? And here's how to start it up and, and do a film or uh, a photo. Let's see. I'm gonna suck it up. And I don't know, do I want to take out the camera and actually show it? I guess I should, hey. Just gotta make sure I don't bust any of the wrapping materials. So here's the camera. You know, I put it back in order the way that I got it. You can zoom with it that I liked, you know. Of course, you can't zoom with a GoPro. This does not have a good wide angle though. And for a vlogger, um, holding it at arm's length, even the, the the angle of the lens is not wide enough to get even my whole head in, in the frame, holding it at my arm's length. And I got a pretty good size arm. I'm almost six foot tall guy. So I didn't like its, um, I don't even know what you'd call that field or whatever. It just wasn't wasn't wide angle enough for me. I did enjoy the fact that you could zoom in because that helps me with wildlife stuff. So that would be a helpful function to to get in the whatever camera I ultimately do choose. Um, the iPhone, of course, can zoom in. And I've been using the iPhone, but you know, what happens when I get a phone call is my iPhone uh, video camera shuts off, so it's no good. Anyway showing you the camera here. So um, one issue is that hmm, back here is where you access your plugins for your SD card, your USB, your AV, your HDMI, right? It's got a double lock because probably because of the waterproofing. So you gotta flip that switch while you open it. But you have to have, again, this door open in order to open that door and access that stuff. Um, the AV is interesting because it comes with an AV adapter slash charger. 
right? But this uh, male end does not fit the female end on, on the camera for the AV. So in order to take care of that problem, they they give you <laughs> they give you an adapter that you plug into that will fit into the uh, the USB kind of connection on the on the camera, right? So they didn't even make the AV unit for, they didn't even give you an AV unit that's actually for the camera. They have to use an adapter as an in-between, right? So that, there's another signal that something's wonky. And then you've got a USB connector to link to your computer. Um, they got a lens cap, which is nice to have. Um, you're supposed to put this little buffer on, this little shield on your uh, adapter wire, I believe here, uh, to make sure that your other devices don't interfere when you're transferring video from one unit to another. Um, so these are some of the little like just technical issues with the design of the unit itself um, and how it's packaged and, and presented to you the information that you get with it, all that. Uh, it's just, none of it's up to par for if you're spending, you know, four to $500 on something. And then um, the audio had better internal audio than GoPros below the Hero 8. I haven't tried the Hero 8 yet. Better internal audio, but still the Alberta wind messes it up so bad that you can't hear me talking when you get good gusts and uh i get good gusts around here a lot of the time so does it give an external mic option no it does not so you can't just hook up an external mic uh or a, or you know a hidden collar mic or something like that to to deal with the wind issue you have to use their external mic it's also an external battery camera or internal sorry their internal mic you have to use it's also an internal battery camera so i was out in the field for just over an hour before filming before it ran out of um battery that was film time and um and i couldn't swap out batteries because it's an internal battery and you can't buy extra batteries so that's an issue so for all these reasons, I'm going to return this sucker. <laughs> I'm probably going to try the Sony that I originally went to check out. And if the Sony isn't good, I might have to bend to checking out the Hero 8, even though I don't like the force of the situation with GoPro. We'll see. I'm sure there'd be some comments here to, to tell me what camera I should really be looking at. And maybe I'll look at that. We'll find out. But the, yeah, as far as this JVC goes, no. Don't don't do this. Not if not if you're gonna actually use it uh, to do any kind of active videos outside. And not if you not if you expect to use it on a MacBook Pro, you know? Cause uh using our MacBook Pro, how much more time we still got left? Four hours and seven minutes. Oh, yeah. That's fun. That's fun. Yeah. It's a no-go. It's a pass. It's a return. Give me my money back. Thank you.